you know, we always suspected that police have some kind of quote. <laughs> I like that quota. Um, but they always deny it. No, we don't have no quotas. We're not, we don't have X amount of tickets we're supposed to write. So I found out this past week that that's true. They don't use the word quota and they don't have quotas, but they do have this thing called the STEP program, the Selective Traffic Enforcement Program, STEP. And it's actually a governmented uh, grant that's funded for police officers to get paid up and above their salary an additional amount of money for what they call contacts. So when they say they don't have quotas, that's true. But they have a specific amount of contacts they're supposed to make when they initiate themselves in this program called the STEP program, the Selective, the selective Traffic Enforcement Program. And so basically what it is, it's the, fe- the state government, or it could be federal, I guess the, it, it ranges, decides to give a grant to certain cities or counties. Who have this 12-step program. Uh, it's, a, it's a real fast program. There's no pyramid in this. It's like one step. Yeah, it's a one step. So it's uh, like a, a one giant step for mankind. Yeah, it's instant gratification. <laughs> <laughs> it's like microwave speed. <laughs> Whoa. And it's interesting because this answers those questions that everybody's been wondering that the police always deny, that they don't have quotas. Well, they don't technically have a quota, but they do have... If they take this initiative or the payment from the STEP program, then these police departments ask the police officers who want to participate in this program, and they offer this additional payment initiative if they can can qualify enough contacts. And they usually do it over the weekend or during holidays and stuff because that's when they'll be able to qualify these contacts and they have to contact x amount of people so there is a type of initiative for them to pull people over to give tickets and you know if if they're a trained police officer they could pull you over for anything there is no reason why a trained police officer shouldn't sit behind a person for five to ten minutes and find some reason to pull you over and there's a contact And they're going to find something at that point to write you a ticket so then they can uh, create additional funding for their police department. Yeah. Well, I I want to read this document because this is legit, specifically from the, the Texas Department of Transportation. The Texas Department of Transportation is requesting proposals to support the target and strategies of its traffic safety program to reduce the number of motor vehicle related crashes, injuries and fatalities in Texas. They are two specific types of grants funded under this program. So they're using the guys, just like if you guys remember we going over the recently passed infrastructure bill a couple months ago, they use the idea of trying to control citizens by implementing a, a cutoff switch in cars in their advanced technology program incentive of trying to keep motorists safe. So always it's under the guise of, Uh, vehicle safety that they try to implement a way to take away your rights as a citizen or a way to keep you submissive and under the control of a government bureaucracy. So under these, they have two types of grants. First is STEP, Selective Traffic Enforcement Program. STEP grants pay for overtime activities by law enforcement to reduce the incidence of speeding driving while intoxicated, failure to use occupancy restraint systems or seatbelts, intersection traffic control violations or running stoplights, and enforcement of state and local ordinances on cellular and text devices. So while you're using the phone while driving. So this is a legit incentive by the state to encourage local police departments to perform quotes, contacts not quotas, but it's the same thing. They have an incentive, a monetary incentive because it says overtime activities. So they're going to get paid to do up and beyond writing tickets. 
for speeding, DUIs, seatbelts, stoplights, stop signs, anything. Watching you talk on your phone, cell phone text, we're going to pull you over for anything. But anyways, you guys now know there is a step program. It is legit. You guys can look it up. And just like we reported many times before, there's always this hidden layer that people don't want other individuals to know about the base reason why people are doing it. Like, example, donations. Everybody always said, well, they can't donate because, um, you know, these people are going to get sued because people can sue them. Then we found out there's that Good Samaritan Act that was passed in 1996 by Bill Clinton that actually prevents people from getting sued if you donate. So there's always this underlining layer where people are trying to give the illusion that these things don't exist. There's a reason why this happens. But then we find out the truth. What our initial gut feeling was, was right. And so just like in this situation, most of us always believe the police had a quota or a monetary incentive to just give random people tickets. But they would never admit it. But now we are giving you the facts behind the story. It is true. They just use it under the guise of the STEP program. 